I've always known that working women would lead the social movements in this country. I've always been a feminist. I've always believed in the power of, of women. I mean, and just in terms of women, their relationships to production, their relationships in the home, their natural, their natural, it's a visceral reaction to pain and suffering. The nurses are fascinating because they, you know, I mean, they've experienced the worst of both worlds. They've got, you know, I mean, a lot of them come from really hard environments. And then they're in a, a hospital that has patriarchal relations where the doctor's God, where the administrators are everything, and where the nurse is there to try to defend the, the patients. So she's the first and last line of defense. And she comes up against, you know, a machine that's pretty formidable. And on their own, you know, what working person can come up against that? But collectively, they've been able to amass an incredible power. And the good thing about nurses is they don't forget where they came from. They are at the center who they are. I'm very, very happy the fact that working people have been able to raise their standards to have pensions, to have health care, to have a living wage. Everyone in this country should, and that's why we're ex been extending our contracts to all Americans. And as you know, we have a new campaign, and it's called the Main Street Contract for America. And essentially what it does is it juxtaposes the the values of our elected leaders. Do you stand with the people in your community, Main Street, or do you stand with the people who are destroying our society, Wall Street? And you decide. And so we'll be putting forth initiatives, probably a financial transaction tax law that we're going to ask them to sign on. And depending on how they respond to that, we'll wage a campaign in every community. But we're going to bring, we're going to bring forward a narrative about what's going on in their community. So the nurses now are telling their stories, just starting to open up. You know, everyone's been very quiet. Everyone's been suffering in silence. And there's this kind of conspiracy of silence, actually, neoliberal agenda, keeping people feeling like it's their fault if something goes wrong. We're going to open that up, and we're going to say, tell us where it hurts. And that's what the nurses are starting to do, and they're telling the most profound stories. And they're going to be the agents, the voice for other people to come forward and to tell their stories. And we're, not, we're going to tell those stories very publicly. We're going to go in front of legislators' offices when they come home from Washington, D.C. We're not going to waste our time in Washington, D.C. They take much security in the fact that they're in Washington, D.C., and they can essentially hide from their constituents. We're not going to let them hide anymore. We're going to actually rip off the curtain and show the light of day on these politicians. Both parties have betrayed the public interest. They're not standing with the patients. They're not standing with working people. They're not standing with their communities. They're standing with corporations. They're bought and sold by corporations. Corporations own them, and they own their values. And after they leave Congress, they go to work for corporations. So it's no surprise. So they're looking at their next job. We're looking at life and death.